Hey guys, uh, it's uh, Coach Ron with my weekly uh, YouTube um, post. And uh, I just want to start off on uh, saying that uh, my family, as well as I think uh, pretty much all families out there, ought to hold the, uh, the people in Dallas, uh, the police officers, um, and their families that are dealing with the tragedy that was there. And um, even though I'm as guilty as the next person, I tend to have some strong beliefs um, coming from a law enforcement family. Uh, my dad did almost 50 years in law enforcement, so uh, I make no bones about uh, what side of that argument I stand by. But uh, please hold them in their thoughts and prayers or in your thoughts and prayers. And uh, I also kind of want to give a shout out to the firefighters and stuff. Uh, my understanding here in some of the reports is that, uh, you know, our brothers in, uh, in red and stuff, despite the, uh, the reports of uh, police officers to stay back because it wasn't safe, um, rolled in anyway. So, uh, uh, you know, they don't get a lot of credit in the warrior world. But uh, my hat's off to them. And um, um, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. But uh, for those that uh, don't know me, I tend to do a lot of, uh, um, how shall I say it, Skyping, FaceTime, email, um, phone calls, etc. I even kind of meet with people face to face um, and just kind of go over programming and stuff. So this isn't really particularly a, uh, a specific question. Um, that I've gotten throughout the week or even even before this week. It's just something that kind of lingers um, and that I wanted to kind of touch on for lack of a better word. And that's kind of mindset. And uh, what I mean by mindset is I'm a firm believer that you are, from a sports performance standpoint, where you deserve to be. Okay, you can't, uh, I guess we got like SEAL Team 6 fast roping in here. Um, you're exactly where you want to be and you deserve and what I mean by that is is you can't fake the grind okay everybody's gonna come up with an excuse or a reason I should say on why you're not where you want to be and I'd hate to say it guys your coach or whoever it is you pick as your coach sometimes just needs to tell you like it is and sometimes that means the coach has to tell you what you don't want to hear okay and you just need to man up you need to woman up and all those reasons and excuses and everything, that's life, man, okay? And how do I deal with that? Well, I'll tell you how I deal with it. A lot of people are like, well, you know, how do you get your time in? And I'll just give you an example that's worked for me, okay? And it's worked for some of my athletes as well, okay? And it's actually even worked better for me as I've gotten older. I used to pick out and block out um, anywhere from one to three hours for a workout, okay? And I would plan, and I'm very much a creature of habit, so I would say that uh, I would have it laid out whether what it is. And I tend to mostly uh, spend more time on those kind of bro sesh days or those accessory days where I just kind of want to get a pump and let things heal up and just kind of flood the muscle um, with uh, a lot of blood. And that tends to uh, make a lot of my aches and pains go away so that when I do get under the bar heavy and it's, you know, mashing on my shoulders and knees and everything that... I'm prepared for it and then I go back and use some of the other techniques and other technologies that I have in order to uh, uh, mitigate those pain and I just frankly <laughs> I just go through the cycle man so long and short of it what did I do well a lot of people don't believe this and I mean I, I'm not one to edit my videos so I'm not gonna post a picture of like my alarms and everything I'm not the most talented dude in the world I'm not the strongest I'm not whatever but one thing I will do is I'll work Okay, and if I can't work as hard or as fast as you or produce as much power as you, I'll just start earlier than you. Okay, so there's a lot of people that used to say, hey man, you get up at 3 a.m. Okay, I do. I get up at 3. All right, and I would say, no, I don't get up at 3. I get up at 2.59. I set my alarm clock for 2.59, 0259 hours in the morning. Okay, why? How is that any different than 3? Well, if I got to explain that to you, which I'm about to, then maybe this is your come to Jesus talk. I set my alarm clock for 0259 because out of 365 days, that's 365 more minutes that I'm either working or preparing to work that you're not. Okay, and what I mean by you, I mean my opponent. And if I don't have an opponent, then I'll just make one up. Okay, so um, a lot of people are like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, I don't know. That's just me, okay? But you need to grab on to whatever you need to grab on to, okay, to make sure that you're able to get past all these little excuses. So I get up at 0259 hours, 
All right, I immediately get up, take my pre-workout, walk into the gym, and I do a real short, nasty workout. It's usually on the air assault bike now. I'll bang out some max effort warm up very minimally, like 10, 15 minutes. And then after that, it's anywhere between 15 and 25 minutes of hammering hard, okay, to where it feels like battery acid is dripping on my heart and lungs, and my lungs are the size of like peas, okay? And then I'm done. I go inside, I shower, I shave, I go to work. Then I get off work, I come home. That's when I start coaching. And what I mean by coaching, I tend to take the coach, mentor, like participant mindset. Everything my guys are doing, or my folks are doing, I'm doing. Okay, so if you wanna be on board with the freaking, you know, where we really, really get after it, be in the first class, cause that's when I start. Second, third, fourth class, um, or, you know, athlete that comes in, I tend to just be recovering and, and doing my thing. So um, if I could recommend one thing, Okay, if you need to get a coach, get a coach, all right? If it's more than one, it's more than one. But the first things I look at with folks that are having issues, okay, is I look at your rest, including your sleep and recovery, okay? And I also look at your diet, okay? And I might even wanna look at your blood, okay? Depending on how specific we wanna get because your nutrition and everything, you can take a shotgun approach and throw a bunch of stuff at it, okay? But how are you really gonna know what you're deficient in or what you need? Okay, we might even go fasted, pre-work, post-work. It all really depends on what you want to do. I have a relationship with a local sports performance biomechanics lab, and uh, um, they can get as funky as you want to get, man, with, uh, with regards to drilling all that stuff down. So, and then I would say sleep and recovery. You know, sleep, I don't get enough of it. I'll be the first to tell you, man. I got a five-year-old and everything else. So I just kind of make it work, all right? But uh, your rest and recovery... Uh, of which where I've kind of able to mitigate some things where I spend a lot of time um, on my Mark Pro, living on that and the Mark Pro Plus, I swear by that technology. Um, but uh, those are the things I look at. And then with regards to mindset, man, it's it's gotta be one of those things where you're either gonna make time or you're gonna make excuses for it, folks. And uh, you may not wanna hear that. You might wanna say something about your you know, girls, boyfriends, hairdressers, cousin, sister, whatever it is. Um, that's fine, man. But uh, um, ultimately, when it comes down to it, you need to make a decision whether you're going to make, you know, living well a priority or you're just going to find a reason not to do it. And uh, I will say this. Uh, uh, I'm not injury free. I'm not pain free. But I always tell my folks, would you rather be fat and in pain or out of shape and in pain? or in shape and in pain, okay? And, you know, there's ways to mitigate your pain and I recommend you try all those therapies, whether it's, you know, massage, chiropractic care, you know, whatever it may be to get your mind right, okay? So if you're having a trouble with motivation, if you're having a trouble that you've plateaued out, if you're having trouble with getting in the gym, then I would recommend this change something get up earlier okay change your workout partner get a workout partner get a coach get rid of a coach okay wear shoes don't wear shoes whatever the hell it is man your body's accommodated you're on a plateau you're stuck in a rut okay and bottom line is you've accommodated you need to change something you need to take ownership there's there's nothing worse Okay, you, you wanna see me intense, you wanna see me angry, you wanna see me take ownership of where I'm at, let me plateau out, okay, which I rarely do anymore now that I kinda got things dialed in with the conjugate system and looking at a lot of Louis Simmons stuff. All you have to do is rotate your exercises and everything and you'll be PR and like 95% of the time you'll PR. And those that I've worked with, you know that's true. There's probably now a couple hundred of you. All right, now, um, is you need to take ownership of that. You need to go into the gym and demand that you're going to break through that. Okay? Otherwise, try a new exercise, vary it just a little different, develop and get a new PR for that, and then move on. Okay? So, um, I would just say this. I know I rambled. I usually have, like, notes and idea. Um, but, uh, man, I, you know, I'm just kind of pissed off with the... Uh, I can't say that. I, I love you guys. Okay? I really do love you guys. But here's the deal. I want you guys to be the best you can be. Okay, and arguing for your limitations isn't it. Okay, so that's all I got to say. That's why I'm the coach. All right, thumbs down, pinkies up.
be awesome and remember would you rather be out of shape and in pain or in shape and in pain okay peace